Hi Gateway, I'm Kaz and I am part of the team in the West and I've been asked to do the devotional this week, which is very cool. Um, so I just wanted to share with you what I feel like God has been speaking to me about recently, um, which I hope and think will be helpful to others of you as well. So just to give it some context, um, I am a cheerful giver. So in terms of giving of finances, whether that is regular offering or um, special offerings or just helping someone out who is struggling, um, that is something that I and we as a family love to do. Um, when you look back at Proverbs, it teaches us to be um, those that honour God with our wealth. Um, and also that we do that by giving the first fruits of our crops, which to me has always spoken of giving the best and the first of our finances to God. And so I always consider that a pleasure. It is it's something that I absolutely love to do. And, and it isn't a struggle for me. I know it is for some people. I have other areas that are more challenging for me. Um, but that is where I am at in terms of giving. So that's the context. And then a few weeks ago, I felt like God spoke to me about that in another light and, and very clearly said to me, well, that's how you feel about provision, but do you do the same with your time? And it was one of those moments where I kind of went, ah, oh, do I give to God the best of my time? And um, this year I started Bible in a year which I have started many times before this year, I've actually stuck to it, which is a miracle in itself. And I've really enjoyed it. I've, re I've enjoyed reading the word every day, but still I felt God say, but do you give me the best of your time? And so then it led me to reading um, the story of the two sisters, Mary and Martha, which is what I wanted to base our devotional in today. So Luke, 10 verses 38 to 42 and it says as Jesus and his disciples were on their way he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him she had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said but Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made she came to him and asked Lord don't you care that my sisters left me to do the work by myself tell her to help me Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken away from her. And I felt like God just said, you're busy. And are you making me the most important part of your day? Are you giving to me the first fruits of your time? And when you read that story, you realise that Martha is busy and she's not busy doing bad stuff. Like it's not that she is doing things she shouldn't be doing, but she's busy. And she's actually busy preparing to, to welcome people into the home and to um, serve them. And so she's rushing around doing that. And I realise, ah, oh, so often my life feels like that that I'm rushing around doing things that need doing. I'm busy doing stuff for my kids. I'm busy doing stuff for work. I'm busy doing church stuff. And all of that stuff is good. And yet, how often in the midst of all that do I make sure that God gets the first fruits of my day? And I felt really challenged on it. And, and because I've been, um, reading the Bible each day, I had to stop and say, ah, oh, do I really stop and give that time to God? Sometimes I'll stop and read. Sometimes I'll make sure I have a really good time of prayer. And sometimes I do it whilst I'm busy doing other things. And I know in those moments, I'm not giving him the first fruits of my day. Um, and so that was what I felt that he's particularly challenging me on at the moment and what that looks like for carving time out to be with him. And I, like many of you, have just been reading The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry and realised that 
as we begin to hopefully get back to some kind of normality in life that I have to be so intentional about what is a priority time wise and to uh, and to make sure that God is front and center in that. And so I guess that is my question to leave you with, to pray about, to think about is to say, are you making God the first fruit of your day? Are you giving him the best of your day and the, the best of your time? And I hope that is helpful for you. I hope it gives you something to think about and to pray about. God bless you guys. We so miss seeing with you and meeting together each week. Take care and hopefully we'll be back together again soon. Bye.